I'm not saying the RDS, the Dublin Horror Show, it's a beautiful day and we've loads more entertainment for you to come. Now last night in bed, I started a brand new Twitter by uh, an author called Casey Hills. Casey Hills actually two people and uh, it's Melissa Hill, who's uh, you know, a successful series of uh, books that you've talked to the charts about here and the And also her husband's writing partner, Eva, now put her husband and wife right together. So, so. Surely that's impossible. But uh, they set themselves up as Casey Hill with a new series of forensic Twitters that are set in our first taboo was published last year, the one that started last night. And over the next few years, we're going to see more and more of them. We'll see how John will. Good morning to you both. Good morning. All the more to be congratulated. That's a 15 minute yeah. <laughs> yeah, Congratulations are a bit overdue at this stage, but we're here. Right? A lot of people listening to the show this morning find they can't even go on kettle. My job is his best. I met a man yesterday who said that his favourite thing now is that the post arrives in the morning and he looks at it. The man around to tell me that he opens it. Oh. The first chance he gets it. Well, I think the biggest worry we have with her is because we're always discussing what we're writing about is that her first word will be murder. Really? <laughs> what a thought. What a thought. <laughs> or something to that effect. That's the worry. I started to do last night. It starts with the two little girls walking past the house of this man who's. You know, got a reputation. Yeah. It's always got potential in, in the already. Great. Rising. Great. Don't walk past the house, girls. Don't walk past the house. Um, yeah. it, it seems to me, and I'm a huge fan of all this sort of book. I'm saying to you, 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 I'm The book tends to be verbalised almost. Yeah, right. Right. Normally, yeah. when one person writes about it, all the thoughts are in their head. So, yeah. sometimes yeah. through brainstorming, you know, it can go in a different direction by me saying something like this. Sorry, man, what if you did this? So, yeah. it, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Well, that was a real contrast for me because I was used to be in control of everything that happens in the book. So, well, she still is in control. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> the leaning is sad now, I've got a lot of people leaning forward to it. You know, it's just like my life. <laughs> well, what they say? It can be challenging oh, if yes, there were those. Yes, challenging is crystal, crystal, correct. <laughs> but we're good fun as well. But we, we, we have some weird situations where we uh, get Tesco delivered quite good time snippets. Yeah. You know, no time to go to the shopping. But there's one time it's when they. We're still going out. How about some weird lists? <laughs> but in terms of the research, there's a pile of books for kids to pay for. Yeah. Uh, the test that I come in in the morning and he, he happens to see the A to Z of torture on the kitchen. Oh, slowly away from the kitchen worked up. Oh, we haven't seen this. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I was thinking, because a lot of the people who write these kind of books, people like Kathy Wright's and Kathy Wright's, have a background in the world. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, as you read their books, you kind of assume that and you are, you are, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're setting a character in Dublin, you set it up with friends in Dublin. I guess you have to make the character believable. Yeah. You know, you have to almost work that magic and, and, and have that situation where the reader doesn't know um, whether the, the reader believes that the character is a forensic scientist, a mm. forensic investigator. I think that's the trick as a writer. Is that you and that, and if you see that, you have to be able to be immersed. Oh, work completely, forensics. completely. I mean, I, I think we find new trends in forensics as well. Yes, and that's it changes every single day. It really, really does. But what we did to kind of counter counterbalance that was to set up a fictional GFU like a CSI. Yeah. Yeah. It stands for the Guard of Forensic Investigation. That's purely an Irish CSI based approach. Uh, that's bragging week with our other friends in the 21st century. Well, now they'll feel lovely. You're the like band over there. Yeah. Well, we're, we're worried it was a band or not because when they pulled up there, we all started getting out of my herbal run. So, uh, yeah, we, we were, 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 were critics. Yes, we were yeah. a <laughs> So there was a few other things I was wondering. That they do tend to have a form to it. And the characters, and your, your character, should see how she will develop right. over yeah. the years. Because this one thing, they never have a personal way. Yes, this is true. Yeah. I guess you wouldn't though. If you were immersed in that in those yeah. kind of investigations, you wouldn't be able to do anything other than think about 
happens until I have to catch it. So yeah, I can see what it would end up the first time. You're not going to give any to play at this point. This, no. this character is still only start. She's yeah. totally <laughs> getting go. She's totally just off the clock. And then uh, the other things I noticed in all of them, um, if you do have any kind of personal relationship, it's with it's, it's, it's the daughter. Oh, I guess, yes, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. The, the marriage is failed, there's a son or daughter still. Well, she has some personal relations there too, that uh, again, don't need to be revealed. Right. And then, very often, there's a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah, well, we, she's a California girl, right. so she, she loves the surfing and she loves all the different California style music. So it's nice to bring that in as well, like the counterbalance of the Irish, the yeah. Irishness, I suppose. Yeah, it's been very successful so far, the TV series? So towards, yeah, yeah. We, we signed a deal with uh, ECOS and they do Raw here for RTE. Yeah. And uh, they've done quite a bit for BBC as well, so fingers crossed we'll see it on the screen soon. And then you have two more to come, two more to finish. No, there are three. Three, three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an idea where this is going to go at this point? <laughs> or if, is it for you as, as the creators? Uh, it's difficult because when you start off you have no idea where it's going to go or from that next. Yeah. And uh, then all of a sudden they start to, to really race ahead. I think probably faster than this Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It might be a bit like the series Lost in the end, but we actually don't know what's going to happen. We just drag it out as long as we can. <laughs> 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 yeah, as long as it remains interesting. Do you read all the other people in the way? Mike Conley and John Conley? Absolutely. Big fan of John Conley. And they were very different from us as well, which yeah. were great, but it's great to see Archbishop in the interest of as well. Yeah. Well, he's done yes, quite a similar Yes, with the bend of the back, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's nice, it's another side, it's, it's, it's your dark side, really, yeah. 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 coming through, um, but it's, it's certainly nice to explore it. You must be exposed to a lot of that dark side now. <laughs> well, if, if somebody's saying the A to Z of torture on your table, <laughs> that must be remarkable. Research you, only, purely. <laughs> we used to creep in in UCD, we used to creep into the, um, the Ned Library in Ernstville Terrace to take over the friends of this era. I can still remember photographs from those books to this day. Just a few prints on your brain. You don't forget, and they're, they're pretty horrific. Yeah, there's some, I said, well, even now with, with the internet, like some, I'd say if someone investigates our Google searches, we could be probably having people oh. knocking at the door as well. <laughs> taken away for a long time. Yes. <laughs> That's a story. Well, you're going to be one of my holiday reads, so... Um, Thank you very much for coming in. Lovely seeing you both. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Love you. 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 Love you